Okay guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a cutaway lock. Alright, so basically what we need is an actual locking mechanism. Okay, the plug, the Bible, alright, we don't need this, I already pinned it up. And what you're going to be doing is very simple. Basically just, here let me show you. Okay, just slowly uh, grind off at this, it's not focusing too well, but... I'm sure you could see. See the the original color was dark and it's shiny. All right, so that's where I started grinding it off. Okay, now you could see I already took just a little bit off, and I don't I don't have that much more to go. Right, I'm using a basic Dremel tool. Okay, this is Dremel Grinder 932. I know many times people say on YouTube, "Oh, I use the Dremel, I use the Dremel," but then I mean, if you're like me, then you have no idea. Uh, of all the different types of drum when I go to the store there's like just so many little different colors and shapes and I'm so lost uh, but regardless I looked it up and this one works very well okay. it's gonna grind it off and then we should have those nice holes that will show us the pins and the springs okay um, I'm not actually gonna be showing you how I'm doing this but I'll show you the finished product all right, I'll be back. Hey guys, sorry I'm outside so I don't have a tripod. Uh, here it is. Um, it didn't go quite as well as I thought it would. It actually took much longer. And as you can see, hold on. Hey. come on. There we go. They're not such perfect cuts. I mean, I'm thinking to smooth it out as well, a little more, and a lot of the metal went inside, so I had to use this little thing which I found on the street. I think this is the um, street cleaner's brush bristle. Uh, I've actually, believe it or not, followed a street cleaning truck a few times. <laughs> never seen one and the other day was walking by and picked this up it's very flexible and I do have another plan for this but that's at a later time sorry for the focus um, so I used it to get in there and kind of pick the metal out now at the same time I believe I scratched the insides because it's metal on metal so I'm not sure exactly how right now but I'm definitely going to be smoothing this out somehow, getting something in there to smooth it out. I mean, you could pretty much see it's nice and round, there's nothing sticking in and out. I've also done this piece a little bit, just to kind of get that outside as well, to see that shear line. Um, and yeah, I've used the Dremel. Here's that same bit that I was telling you about. You can see there's a lot of metal on it, there's a lot of metal flying. And the one thing I forgot to mention before, thanks to Bill for his video on how to uh, with his cup of water quench quench that's exactly what I had and as you can see this full this cup was full and now it's empty that's how much water I used it was just getting really really hot and that's just a bunch of metal debris so uh, once I clean this up a little more and uh, smooth things out I will be getting back okay so here we are I've uh, as you guys can see I've repinned it let me just get a little focus on here okay. I've repinned it I put this thing back on that was a bit of a challenge because we grinded off a lot of this but it's on there pretty sturdy and got all the pins in there Alright, I might have to just check this just to make sure because with, without the springs it looked fine. I mean, yeah, I think it's fine. Yeah. Okay, so I got all the pins in there springs, drivers, key pins, everything's in there. And here you go. That's basically how you make your own cutout. Uh, let's see how that works. This is the first time I'm trying this myself, but. You guys get the picture, yep. 
Yeah, everything seems to be working yeah, lovely. Okay. And there you have it. That's how to make your own cutaway. Um, now that I've done this myself, what is, is it? Do I recommend doing it yourself or spending whatever 30, 40, 50 bucks on buying one? Mm, you know, I'm kind of still in the middle. I've seen clear ones, and that looks that looks really great. I'm not sure if you can repin those um, and buying cutouts just like this. I think you can make one yourself. Like I said, you see, it's not that pretty. Uh, might make some adjustments. Like I said, I just popped this in and put, turned the camera on. So I might make some adjustments as I go, but it's working. Everything is functional. All the pins, where is it? All the pins are working rather well. And it's going to do its, it's going to serve its purpose. Oh. Something looks like it got stuck already. Yeah, a little bit. Well, it's okay. This is the first time. Maybe, maybe I'll do another one. Just without the mistakes that I made on this one. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna go start picking this thing. Well, not tonight, because it's quite late already. I don't even know how I'm awake right now. <laughs>